Hi and hello. Yeah, today I will try to answer a question and give some advice for a question I often got. In the Azure Marketplace um, or on GitHub, there are several solutions offering an application based on an app service using a key vault for secrets and yeah, for secrets and keys and often having a SQL server which means a SQL database as a service to store data. And altogether is the application. And um, normally, if you deploy an, um, an Azure-style application based on an app service with Key Vault and a database, then all the resources having public endpoints that means that you could and, and that you could um, try to access a key vault by a public URL, try to access a SQL server or SQL database um, with a public URL or public IP, uh, public address, a DNS name, IP address, and that is also what the application service does. He connects to the key vault and to the database via the public endpoints. Often that is fine, mostly that is fine, because the the data transfer is encrypted via TLS and the application service has to authenticate to the key vault and to the SQL database to get access. So that is normally fine, but in some or for some reason, it could be necessary to avoid that the key vault and the SQL database offering public endpoints. And that is what you can do. If you put the SQL database and the key vault into a closed virtual network, removing the public endpoints and only using this private endpoints. And yes, also the application service must be able to access the VNet. So it needs, um, it needs a NIC apart inside the VNet to use and to access the key vault and the SQL database in the backend in the VNet. And then you can use the application service, your web application um, from the internet, getting the front end, but all the traffic to the SQL database and key vault is done in the closed VNet, which is not public. And let me show you how easy that is without reconfiguring or reprogramming the application service. So let me go to the Azure portal. So for example, what I have here, that is um, my AVD solution called Hydra and that also um, used an application service that is a web front end. It used Key Vault to store the secrets and it used also the SQL database to store configuration data. So that are the main resources for this application. And by default, um, the key vault and the SQL, SQL database having public endpoints. So to change that, we have to create first a virtual network, which we can then use to put in our non-public, our private endpoints for the SQL database and for the key vault. So let me start, click on create virtual network I use the same resource group I give it a name um, secure secure vnet for example I want to use the region West Europe that is the region where the app service and the SQL database and the key vault is deployed. And then next, IP address. Let us use a small IP range. 24 is enough. We only need a few IP addresses. And a subnet is also mandatory and, and use the same size for the subnet as for the full virtual network. Um, the name is secure and the subnet range is in my case the same. Click on add. 
Next, security. We don't need a bastion. I don't go for a DDoS and no firewall. In this case, no tags. And please always use tags in a production environment. Click on create. And then the virtual network is deployed. That is a single virtual network without any endpoints right now. So give it a few seconds. Go to the resource. Here's our virtual network. And I go directly back to the resource group. So what do we need? We need for our key vault a private endpoint. I click on the key vault. I get, go to networking. private endpoint connection and I create first a private end, endpoint for the key vault. Same region, West Europe. I give it a name. I name it, I name it for example, a secure AVD KV for key vault. Next. Resource type is key vault. I select the key vault. That is a that is a key vault I'm using. I want to use. Target sub resource is vault. Yeah, there's only one vault for key vaults. Virtual network. Now I select my previous created virtual network, CQVNet, and the subnet. There's only one. Metropolis for all applications is also okay. Application secure group is not needed. DNS. I automatically want to create a DNS entry so that later, if we connect the app service to the virtual network, the app service will find the key vault with this private IP address from the from the VNet under the same name. So that is also needed. Next text. Here we create. And click on create. That takes a while. Let us check our application. Our application is, I guess, is still running. So let it wait for the endpoints and for the DNS entries or entry. So done. The private endpoint for the keyword is created. Let us go back to the resource group. Back to the keyword. Back to networking. And now let us allow access, not from the full network, only from the selected network, and existing, and let us select our CQ VNet. And our subnet. Validate. That is important to avoid um, that still access over the internet could be made to the key vault. So we only want to have or to allow access from, um, from the virtual network we have created over the private endpoint. Click add again, sorry for that, and then click on save. Okay, let's go back to the resource group again. So here is the application. Keyword access should no longer work over the public internet. Let me click on reload. Looks like it could work, but that is only cached. If I restart the app service, I would expect that the application cannot start again while the key vault is not accessible. 
we didn't reconfigure the app service right now. Just takes a while to restart. Service unavailable. Yeah, and again, error message. That is now expected because the application cannot start while the keyword is no longer accessible over the internet. So let us go back. Back to the resource group. Second step is the database. Database. In this case, the database is the virtual SQL server containing the database. Here's author uh, item networking. And what we have to do is create a private endpoint and private access. Same thing as we have done for the key vault. Give it a name, uh, secure AVD DB. For example, West Europe in my case. Next. The target sub-resource is SQL Server that was detected automatically and correctly. The network is again our secure VNet with our subnet. Next DNS works exactly in the same way like the key vault. Create a DNS entry that is then accessible in the private virtual network. And finally, click on Create. So done, even for the database. So let us go once again back to the resource group and to the database or database server. Networking. So we have done the private access. And what we have to do next is disable the public network access. Also important um, so that the database only accept connection from the private endpoint we have created before. Disable, click on save and the SQL server is no longer available over the public network. Okay, so we covered the key vault and the database. Finally we have to configure the app service so that the app service can use and has access to the virtual network containing our database and key vault. App service. Looking for the same networking. Networking. And you can see on the line on the left side, inbound inbound is um, is still internet access allowed which is for me important to access the web service. But in the background, it should use the VNet integration to connect to the database and to the key vault over the VNet in a private mode. Add VNet, virtual network, secure VNet, existing subnet, And now you get me. <laughs> That's one important point. We have to create an ex a new subnet. And to do that, we have to go first back to the VNet. Adding an address space. for another class CNET. Save. Subnets. There's our secure network for the key wall and the database. Let us create a second one. 
app service yeah the address is fine now we have an empty subnet for the app service back to the resource group and then to the app service again scroll down to networking VDAT integration add a VNet and again secure VNet select the empty subnet for the app service and OK. And yes, you can use smaller um, subnets. But while we're only using this VNet in this correlation with the app service, the database, and key wall, I guess that is fine. And you can create another VNet for another application with database and so on using the same IP address. Because they are not connected, there is no um, issue to expect. So. Back to the app service it's still not running but if we restart it i hope that the app service will see the resources of the database and the key vault in the virtual network it takes a while Restarting app service takes a while. We need, first need to see the message that, that um, ah, okay, it works faster than expected. And then our application is working. And now it's working with a database without a public endpoint and key vault without a public endpoint. Both are private endpoints and um, the access is done during or inside the virtual network we have created for this application. And the good thing is that it's not only um, for my application Hydra, that will work without any modification for, I would say for nearly any application working in the same way, having an app service, having a database, a key vault, so you can, or you can put the database and the key vaults and one part of the um, of, of the app service into a VNet to avoid having public endpoints. So let me do a refresh. The application needs a while to reload and then we should see all the data. But we're free to use it for Hydra or for any other application to get a little bit more security regarding the database and regarding the key vault. And great, now the application is working completely it took a while for the first start to yeah to get all connections so thanks a lot and have a great day